We've all heard the saying, get what you pay for. And there is a lot of truth to that. Well, hey there, it's Miriam Schulman here. Welcome to The Inspiration Place. I'm your curator of inspiration, and we're diving deep into the world of artpreneurship. In particular, we're going to be talking about pricing psychology. What motivates people to spend a couple hundred dollars on a bottle of wine while other people are going to be looking for the cheapest wine possible. So we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of pricing perception and the psychology behind it. Perhaps you've questioned your own pricing as an artist and wondering, are you pricing too low? Are you pricing too high? Has that interfered with your sales? So let's start by exploring the power of perception when it comes to pricing. We've all heard the saying, you get what you pay for. And there is a lot of truth to that, but also that is something people are thinking about when they go shopping. So my husband, Ron, he loves a good bottle of wine. And when I go to the wine store, he'll actually tell me, don't get one too cheap, get something between, you know, around $20, because what he's assuming is that the $20 bottle of wine is better than a $15 bottle of wine. He's never said to himself, oh, this $20 bottle of wine should be priced at $40. Research has shown that this phenomena extends beyond wine preferences. In 2015, participants enjoyed the same wine more when they were told it was more expensive. So that is the power of the placebo effect. And this can be observed across a lot of different products, everything from jewelry to cars to designer goods and pocketbooks and, of course, art. Now, I've had this experience myself when it came to pricing my class, Watercolor Portrait Academy. When I first created that class, I actually priced it for $97. And I thought that would be easy to sell at that price. And I found I had a really tough time marketing it. When I raised the price to $197, not only was it easier to sell, but what happened is the people who signed up for the class reported they enjoyed it better. Why is that? Because they were actually finishing the class. More people were taking it seriously because they had invested more money into it. Since then, I've actually raised the price of Watercolor Portrait Academy to $497. And the same thing happened again. Now, the $497 version is not exactly the same as the first version. There is definitely a little more content to it, but it wasn't harder to sell at the more expensive price. Now, I bet there are places in your life where you're also less price sensitive. So for example, do you hire the cheapest vet? Do you hire the cheapest babysitter? Or if you needed a nose job, would you seek out the cheapest plastic surgeon? I hope not because otherwise you might end up looking like this. It looks good. Great job. You got butchered. Remember, as an artist, your art has value and pricing it too low can undermine its perceived value in the eyes of collectors. You have to trust that your unique style, perspective, and expertise, and don't be afraid to price your art accordingly. All right. So that wraps up today's episode of The Inspiration Plays. I hope you've gained insights into this. If you like more advice on marketing your art and mindset around it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I would love to hear from you below. So do you feel you overprice or underprice your art? Have you ever tried raising your prices and found that it was easier to sell? If that's true, I would love to hear from you. Now, if you like today's advice, you're absolutely going to love my book, Artpreneur. It has actually 14 lessons to think like an abundant artist. So you're not going to want to miss it. You can actually get started reading Artpreneur absolutely free when you head on over to shulmanart.com forward slash believe. And that way you can download chapter one and see if you like the book before 
buying it. But if you're already convinced you want to get your hands on this life-changing book, go on over to shulmanart.com forward slash book. Everything is linked below in the show notes. All right, my friend, until next time, stay inspired.